Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a quick video to show you how to prepare your spark plugs before installation. You're also going to inspect them to make sure everything's okay. Uh, okay, so first let's grab a plug. We're going to unbox it here. We have NGK Iridium plugs. These are pretty nice plugs. They're, they're a little expensive, about 5 to $7 a plug, but they do last 100,000 miles, so you really never have to replace them. Um, okay, so we'll grab this, check it out. So there it is. That is a spark plug. Um, what I usually do first is I kind of tug on this area here, make sure that nothing is loose at all. If it is, then you're going to want to replace it, obviously, uh, because something's wrong with the plug. So that's good on this side. Next, what I do is I inspect the tip of the uh, iridium tip here. So if you can see that, that is still intact. If this tip is broken at all, you're going to want to get that replaced because the plug is ruined. That tip is pretty important. Um, that's what sparks from here to here. So if that tip is broken, get it replaced. So, But that's good on our plug. The next thing I do is I gently tap on this ceramic piece here with my nail. I don't scratch it or anything. I just tap it to make sure it's not loose. I have known two cars that had that piece break off. Um, and kind of go into their cylinder and it kind of ruined things and they had to do engine rebuilds which kind of sucks it's very rare but it does happen so just tap it lightly make sure that that's okay other than that plug looks perfect as it should be um, these plugs do come pre-gapped from the ngk factory but in my um, experience they've generally been off a little bit so i always gap them myself or gap them myself um, we are installing these on a Mazda 3, so that calls for a 0 0.045 gap. So that's 0 0.045 inches. Um, so I checked the gap from the factory. I've already done a little gapping myself, but it was uh, off by 0 0.045 or 0 0.005. Uh, so that's pretty big to me. I want these gaps perfectly because I want my engine to run perfectly. I want to get good gas mileage. I want it to be smooth idle and all that. So. Um, people generally don't recommend you touching the iridium tip because it is a, a coating actually around the diode and if you rub it a little too hard then it can you know come off and it won't run as well as it should but uh, in my experience I've done this hundred uh, not hundreds of times I've done it probably 10 to 20 times on different cars um, gently touching the the diode isn't gonna kill it you can just but if you're you do not want to scratch it back and forth as soon as you get the least bit of resistance when you're checking the gap that's when you stop that's that's when you're okay um, you know what the gap is so let's test it now so we're gonna stick that on here and as soon as we get a little bit of resistance and right there so it's 0.044 so that is exactly what I was looking for so that means these plugs are gapped perfectly. Sometimes, like I said, these do come gapped smaller than they should be. Um, what you're going to do in that case, you're going to get a, a set of needle nose pliers like this. I usually get the ones with uh, the bent nose here because they're easier to work with. And uh, skinnier tips because, you know, that's a that's pretty small clearance right there. So you're going to stick this in between here without, this is big big deal, without touching the iridium tip or the ceramic piece here, you're going to slip that in there. So you see that? It just barely fits in there. You're going to pull up, since if it was smaller, then you would pull up. And you would keep pulling up, and then you would recheck, pull up, recheck, uh, until you got to your desired um, gap. For us, again, it was 0 0.044 or 045. If, it is a, if the gap is too big, say I'm looking for 045 and I'm at 60, what I usually do is I grab... Um, this piece here on the plier and I just gently push down very lightly push down um, and then I recheck and make sure that you know it's going down in incrementally and you, you get to where you want to be if it's too big you know pull it up if it's, uh, sorry if it's too small you pull it up if it's too um, too wide of a gap you push down on it until you get to where you're looking for so I've already checked all of these they're all good so we are good to go thanks for watching